All right. So you guys wanted us to really dig into all this Oprah stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're doing a deep dive into the Oprah controversies. And uh, we've got like six different sources here that we've gone through. And I mean, everyone knows Oprah. She's like, what do they call her? America's mom or something like that? Yeah, America's therapist. Uh, America's best friend. Yeah, exactly. And so this isn't just like, oh, let's get into some gossip. This is about like, how do these situations that we're going to talk about, yeah. how do they intersect with broader conversations about like what does it mean when someone has a platform and celebrity and philanthropy right all that kind of stuff and accountability too yes. right because that's the thing about having a platform that big mm -hmm. is there comes a point where you have to kind of answer for some things or at least people want you to and especially now like in the world of social media it's like that court of public opinion can change like that snaps fingers oh in an instant in an instant so one of the things that i think is really interesting about all this is that and this is kind of where we're going to start is this diddy stuff yes diddy as in p diddy john combs yeah. so okay before we even get to oprah yeah. like what are the allegations against diddy so there are allegations against diddy of sexual assault coercion potentially some illegal activities okay hold on hold on let's slow down what do you mean illegal activities? Like, what are we talking about here? Well, this goes back to those so-called freak-off tapes that have been rumored recordings of these celebrity sex parties that he allegedly organized and used, potentially, for blackmail. Wait, wait, wait. Freak-off tapes? What? Like, yeah. can you explain that a little? I mean, I'm sure our listeners are like, what is going on? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty wild. So these alleged tapes, and again, we have to emphasize alleged because their existence hasn't been officially confirmed, but the rumors suggest they contain footage from these crazy parties with all kinds of high-profile people. And the accusation is that Diddy used these tapes as leverage, maybe even for blackmail. Okay, wow, so we've got these rumored tapes. Are there other accusations? Oh yeah, on top of that whole mess, there's surveillance footage from May 2024 that seems to show Diddy assaulting his ex, Cassandra Ventura. And then to make matters even worse, Back in March, Homeland Security raided his homes and found guns and drugs. This is crazy. So, like, how does Oprah fit into any of this? Yeah, that is the big question, isn't it? Because the speculation is that Oprah might have been involved, not by participating in anything Diddy's accused of, but maybe by introducing people to these parties, like recruiting guests. So they're not saying she did anything illegal, but that she might have known about it. Exactly. And that's what makes it so interesting. Oprah has this image, right? Like she's all about morality and doing good. But if she knew about this stuff, even if she wasn't doing anything wrong herself, mm. it makes you wonder about her judgment. Yeah. I mean, if someone like Oprah is cool with being around that kind of stuff, what does that say about her inner circle? What does it say about the people she surrounds herself with? That's what everyone's trying to figure out. Yeah. How could Oprah, someone who talks so much about empathy and being open be mixed up with someone accused of doing these awful things. It's a lot to wrap your head around, and this is just the beginning, right? We haven't even gotten to the other stuff about Oprah. No, there's more, and it's just as complicated. So we've heard all these accusations, but I'm curious, what's Diddy's side of the story? What does he have to say about all this? Well, unsurprisingly, he's singing a different tune. Diddy denies everything. He says there's zero proof, calls it all rumors and gossip, the whole nine yards. Mm, so he's flat out denying it. Basically, yeah. He's even gone so far as to say he's a victim of cancel culture. Yeah. You know, people trying to take him down because he's successful. Cancel culture. Yeah. Man, that feels like a whole other conversation we could have. But you're right. It does seem like people are having very different reactions to all this. What are you seeing out there? Oh, it's a mess. Social media is blowing up, as you might imagine. It's all over the place. You've got people who are furious, obviously, and they're voicing support for the women who are making these accusations. And then you've got others who are like, no way Diddy and Oprah would never. They're coming to their defense big time. It's interesting how these things become so polarizing. Totally. And the comparison started flying almost immediately. People bringing up Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, like, mm. are these situations similar? It gets murky really fast. Plus, the whole thing is tangled up with the hashtag Me Too movement. Right, because this goes way beyond just Diddy and Oprah. Exactly. It makes you think about how we deal with these accusations, especially against powerful people. Because on one hand, these are serious claims and we should listen to the people making them. But on the other hand, Diddy's saying he's innocent. It's like, how do you find the truth when everyone's got their own version of the story? And to make it even more complicated, you've got Oprah who's known for speaking out about tough issues, being totally silent on this. Right. Like she's built her whole career on being open and honest. 
Exactly. So her silence is speaking volumes to people. It makes you wonder, is she not saying anything because she doesn't want to get involved? Or is there something more to it? It's tough because we tend to put celebrities on these pedestals. Like, oh. we want to believe they're always good and perfect. It's easy to forget they're human, just like us. They make mistakes. They have flaws. And sometimes they get caught up in things that maybe they shouldn't be involved in. It happens. And look, the Diddy situation is just one piece of the puzzle here. Right. There's more going on with Oprah than just this. Oh, yeah. There are a few other things that have come to light recently, and they complicate the picture even more. Okay, well, let's get into it then. What else has been going on? Well, there's this whole thing with Oprah and Ozempic, the weight loss drug. Oh, yeah, that was big news. She admitted to using it, right? She did. And it wouldn't be such a big deal except Oprah's Oprah. People were like, wait, but you're all about self-love and accepting your body. How does this fit? I see what you mean. It seems like a contradiction. Right. And to make matters worse, she aired this whole TV special called Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution around the same time. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be this big discussion about body image and all that. Mm -hmm. But then with the Ozempic thing. People thought it was hypocritical. Exactly. Like, is she really trying to have an honest conversation? Or is she just using her platform to sell a product? I can see how that would rub people the wrong way. For sure. And it brings up this question of responsibility again. Mm -hmm. Like, when you have that much influence... You have to be careful about what you promote. Absolutely. Your words have weight. People listen. And they might make decisions based on what you say or do. And that leads us to another controversy. The Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls. This is the school she founded in South Africa, right? Yeah. And sadly, there have been allegations of abuse at the school. We're talking both physical and sexual abuse, allegedly perpetrated by some staff members. These accusations actually came out a while back, but they've resurfaced recently. Oh, wow. That's awful. It is. And it raises so many questions like, what did Oprah know and when did she know it? What was done to protect those girls? Was anyone held accountable? This feels different from the other stuff we've talked about. This isn't about a medication choice or even a questionable friendship. This is about the safety and well-being of young girls. You're right. This one cuts deep, and I think it's had a real impact on how people view Oprah. Like, it's harder to brush aside or ignore. Exactly. And it gets to the heart of this deep dive. We're trying to figure out how these events have changed Oprah's carefully crafted image. Because before all this, she was seen as a being of hope, a symbol of resilience and strength. But now... Now it's more complicated. Way more complicated. It's like we're seeing a side of her that we didn't know existed before. And that's unsettling, for sure. It is. And to make matters even more complicated, there's one more controversy we need to address. The Maui wildfires and Oprah's role in the relief efforts. Right. The Maui wildfire. Gosh, that was just such a devastating event. And Oprah's involvement in the aftermath definitely got people talking. And did you know right after those terrible fires, Oprah, she teamed up with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and they created this thing called the People's Fund of Maui. And their whole goal was to raise money for the people who were directly affected. Mm-hmm. You know, asking for donations from the public to support the relief efforts. Which on the surface sounds like a really kind and generous thing to do. So it, where's the controversy in that? Well, it all kind of blew up because Oprah's, you know, Oprah, she's got a lot of money. Yeah. And people were like, hold on. If you're so concerned about Maui... Why not just make a huge donation yourself? Why ask us for money? Right. It sparked this whole debate about, you know, celebrities using their fame to raise money. Is it really philanthropy if you're a billionaire asking everyday people to chip in? That's a really good point. It's almost like there's this expectation that when you have that level of wealth, you should just take care of it yourself. Exactly. And it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, that whole thing about celebrities and public image and what we expect from them. Right. Oprah has this reputation for being generous, for being a philanthropist. But this situation put her in a weird spot. Because it makes you question her motives. Kind of. makes you wonder, is it enough to just be seen as doing good? Or does someone like Oprah have a bigger responsibility to put their own money where their mouth is? Especially given her platform. For sure. It's a lot to unpack. I mean, it's not just Oprah. We've seen this with other wealthy people and celebrities, too. Absolutely. It makes you think about power, you know, and who has it and how they use it. It really does. And you know what I think it all comes down to? All these controversies, the Diddy situation, the Ozempic thing, the the Maui wildfires, even the allegations about her school, it all circles back to this question of power. How so? Think about it. The power of celebrity, the power of having a huge platform and the responsibility that comes with it. Okay. Oprah has spent decades 
building this image of being a force for good, someone who uplifts and empowers others. Right. But these recent events, they've kind of poked holes in that image. You know, we're seeing the cracks and the complexities of what it means to have that much influence. So we're seeing a different side of Oprah. Maybe a more human side, yeah. I mean, not to say she wasn't human before, but now we're seeing the flaws, the mistakes. And the contradictions. Exactly. I think it reminds us that public figures, they're not these perfect beings. No matter how much we want them to be. Exactly. They're just as flawed and messy as the rest of us. It's a lot to process, and I think that's kind of the point of all this, right? To take a deeper look, to ask tough questions, and maybe realize that things aren't always as simple as they seem. You got it. Well said. And on that note, I think we've done some serious unpacking today. We did. We've explored the controversies. We've talked about the complexities. And hopefully we've given everyone listening something to think about. That's the goal. To our listeners, thank you for joining us on this deep dive into, well, Oprah's complicated year. And remember, yeah. keep asking those tough questions and don't be afraid to think for yourself. Couldn't have said better myself. Until next time, everyone stay curious.